Hey guys, so I've been getting quite a few comments on my YouTube channel about how I'm able to find shark teeth and fossils in the creeks and rivers uh, where I hunt, which is in North Carolina. So I pulled up this map of the Miocene Epoch. So basically this map is a map of the United States um, back about 23 to 5.3 million years ago. So you can see how basically we have all this ocean over here and part of you can see Maryland and North Carolina, part of these states were underwater at one time. So all this white down here represents ocean water. So we can see that basically all of Florida was covered in an ocean at one point. And part of Georgia, part of South Carolina, part of North Carolina, part of Virginia and Maryland were also covered with water. So this means that we had sharks swimming in and out of these white areas and blue areas for basically millions of years. We had sharks swimming all over here. They'd be swimming in part of the states and out all over here. So with them swimming back and forth all this way, the sharks would also be losing their teeth through the predation process or through feeding on whales and dolphins and porpoises and little sea creatures. So they'd be losing their teeth all over here. Their teeth would reside. So there'd be a ton of shark teeth in Florida. You can see all the shark teeth that would be in Georgia and South Carolina and a lot of shark teeth in North Carolina and Virginia and also Maryland. So you can see that there's a ton of shark teeth all in this area where the sharks are swimming, as well as all over here because they swam over here as well. So essentially what happened is all this white part here, which is all ocean water, has receded, it has gone out this way and has dried up. So basically, if you look at a map of the United States today, you can see that this whole area in here is now brown and green. It's, it's land, it's all vegetation, there's trees and homes and businesses all along here. But what's really cool is the shark teeth have stayed in place, meaning there's still shark teeth all along this area. And essentially what I do is I find creeks and rivers along this area here and I go into them and I dig the bottom and I find the shark teeth that have been there for millions of years. So these shark teeth were lost millions of years and basically all this area dried up. And then when you dig back down into this area, you find the shark teeth and fossils that were there millions of years ago. Really cool to think about. All right guys, so I'm standing at a creek in North Carolina right now. This would represent the white area on the map. So previously this was all ocean, all this over here and all this over here and all of this as well. This would have been all ocean. Even though you can see trees here today, millions of years ago during the Miocene, this would have been all ocean. So one of the really cool things is that the sharks would be swimming in and out of here just like this all over, even over here, miles this way and miles that way and miles this way and miles that way and everything like that. So they'd be swimming in here, feeding on you know whales and dolphin and porpoise and little sea creatures um, and they would lose their teeth through the predation process. They're feeding on all these animals. And over time, they'd lose their teeth and they would deposit them in basically wherever they swam. So if they swam over here, there could be teeth over there, technically. And if they swam over this way, there'd be teeth over there. And there'd be teeth over there. So basically, this whole area could potentially have shark teeth in it. This whole entire area. You wouldn't think that there'd be shark teeth here, but underneath all this dirt, all these trees and all this grass, there are shark teeth. Um, what makes this really awesome is that we have a creek right here. So this is gonna expose all the dirt and the gravel for us. This, this creek really does a lot of work for us that we don't have to do. So it takes all the sand and all the gravel that has built up for basically millions of years and it has deposited at the bottom of the creek here. So what's really interesting is that there's probably shark teeth right over here and over here as well and way over here. But it would take, you know, a backhoe and us digging down 10, 15 feet to find the same shark teeth that we're finding right over here. So yes, there are shark teeth right here, but what's really convenient is that the water 
when it gets higher, it'll start eroding the sides and it'll take out everything that's along here. You can see there's trees uprooted and there's sand and gravel and it'll deposit it all down here so that all we have to do is take screens and shovels and dig the bottom of it, put it in a sifter and we find the shark teeth that way. So really interesting. Water does a ton of work over time. It can really help you out um, as far as shark tooth hunting goes. So it's really interesting. This is like all untouched ground that could have shark teeth in it, but it's just not practical to dig down this whole area um, to find the shark teeth as well when you have basically a creek that does the work for you. All right, guys, you can see how the gravel that comes out of the sides will naturally go basically to the bottom of the creek. So all this will erode over time when the creek rises. It'll take out all this gravel and deposit it basically at the bottom of the creek. And when you dig down, you can find shark teeth. And check that one out, guys. Holy crap. Look at that tooth. That's a great white shark tooth. Amazing find. Crazy. All right, guys. Got another one here. Looks like we got a Mako blade. Let me see. Yep. Looks like a blade of Mako. Nice one. Big one. And I think there's one more in here. I think I eyeballed a sharp looking uh, great white. Check that one out, guys. Let me get it here. Oh, yeah. Check out those serrations, guys. That is a super sharp one. That is crazy. Oh yeah, that's killer. Sweet. And then on a larger note, we got a little bit of whale bone, whale vert. It's a little section of it. Sweet, nice piece. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you next time.